Hello internet friends, Nap yet here, another unboxing on the channel, this time Dinobot Sludge. It's one of my favourite things to do at the minute is unbox these on the YouTube channel. Let's face it, if I weren't doing this with you guys, I would be doing it in complete silence on my own. Well, I am still on my own, but only kind of on my own. Yeah, the first one that I've got, worth mentioning out the gate, is the packaging, right? The all cardboard packaging from Hasbro. I do most of my collecting online. So the change from the translucent window da, 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 with someone like Grimlock doesn't make a huge difference in terms of me being able to check the figures beforehand because online you can't do that anyway. Uh, I understand the need for to be vir environmentally aware and I do approve of trying to cut down on plastic. I mean, these are these plastic toys that we are buying. It's all plastic, isn't it? But at least removing the plastic packaging means that, you know, most people don't keep the packaging. So we are making an impact a little bit so i think whether we like it or not this is the way things are going so we've got to come to terms with it at this stage i don't think they're going to u-turn and go back this new way of packaging things so you can see he's like he's not clipped in with the with the plastic inside or anything like that let's see sludge is the first of the dinobots all these dinobots are huge i don't think i'm hoping that you guys might be able to tell me is this a re a re-release a re-deco a re-sculpt of a previous figure i've had a quick look and i know there was a sludge in the power of the primes line but is this the same one they look similar in the on the internet but it's hard to tell uh, and as well this is a uh, paper ties as well now so we're really going environmentally friendly i do approve i mean i've been watching all these David Attenborough, BBC nature documentaries about the planet and the impact we're having on the planet. And I do think it's important. It's the easiest removal so far. What was I saying? You think I'd know not to jinx it at this stage. Doesn't that head look great? Very cool. Okay. He's attached. There's a, something else attached to it. It's his wing. Uh, he's chunky. I, I'm expecting a wobbly sludge. I have heard a few people say that he's very wobbly out of the box, but and the and the legs on his mold, traditionally the G1 mold, it did have those slight legs and like chunky these bits I'm talking about in the middle. But actually, they're not as thin as they look in the uh, in the pictures. All right, and the gun comes in the on the back now. <gasps> cellophane, that I think, yeah. sellotape. That's technically plastic. What are you doing, Hasbro? The original toy had rockets and stuff, which I'd forgotten all about until I. Yeah, that. But that looks like the original gun. Oh wow, I really like his hand cannon. Let's have a look at you, my boy. The big chest on the Dinobots is the thing that I've noticed with. Slug is the only one that I've unboxed so far and it does cut down on the articulation a bit like you. I would like to have the arms come across the chest like that, but you can't really do it. You can do it sideways like that. But first impression, that's really good. Actually, I'm dead. I'm really curious how tall he is when compared to Slug. Let me just grab Slug. This is like when your parents forced you to go and have a family pick family portrait and no one wanted to because these two are pretty like sludge is apparently particularly grumpy autobot they're yeah, about the same right actually just looks sludge just looks a bit bigger yeah he's a he's a couple of it's like a centimeter bigger perhaps why is he rocking back on his on his legs like that. I don't know. I don't know. And where are the instructions? Haven't found them yet. We've got the backdrop in place, which I don't really bother with. There we go. It's a nice display option if you have the one figure. 
and uh, you have space to spare, but I don't, so I can't display them with that. Never have been able to. All right, the moment of truth. We have got the shoulders. They pivot nicely. All over the place they pivot. Elbows, and I think we have a twist. We do. That's nice. Arm twist. I just uh, I opened hot rod and it's kind of spoiled me. I want that. I want everyone with articulated fingers now. That that video should be up on the channel. Check it out. He's uh, he's really cool. Nicely detailed. All right. So wrist. Uh, some I was reading there. So he has the has the waist swivel. But I was reading that the backpack, if you took them up, sort of flush with. It'll be something to do with the transformation, but you can get like a full 360 degree waist swivel if you do that, rather than having the legs down like that. I think that's what they were saying. So that's an option, depends. Kind of looks a bit weird sticking out like that, but maybe there's a way to tuck them in here. Just have a look at the legs. Right, so there, and then we have a knee joint and these legs. Actually, that's going to be cool. And can we do them sideways? We can. We have an ankle swivel and an ankle sort of pivot forward as well. What I'm, oh, flop, he's bowing. It's kind of weird that you kind of look. So those are nice and flush to the legs there. But then if I let him go, he rocks back. No, he doesn't. There we go. His center of gravity sometimes tips him back a bit. Which is not a problem or anything. It's just kind of like, huh, that's weird. I didn't expect that. So where's this supposed to go? Let's have a look at the instructions someone was kind enough to tell me the other day about the fact that there's a little so when you get them out of the instructions you have a look and how it's supposed to actually attach um, because it, it comes in the box not completely transformed this is a good thing about doing youtube videos because people are able to help you with your knowledge base um, so we have to there's the head to clip this in And we'll have a look at the head in a second. And then it tucks down like that. And is his, is his neck, is it just tuck in? Like that and like that. I guess that might be it. It's a little bit of a cheat, isn't it? Just the head hanging off the back like that. That's, that's what I'm reading here. Just check out the, the head here. Oh, that's nice. He has a lot of movement on the head. You can go all the way around with a lot of sludges stuff. And I do some posing. See how he looks. It's, are all the transformers right-handed? Perceptor has his uh, has his gun in his left hand on the artwork. There on his box art. I mean, they all look totally... I mean, geez, that is that just looks so cool. It looks amazing. Let me just do a little bit more. I'll see. I like to do the... Oh, wow. Yeah. So I've just forced that down, which I shouldn't do really. But if we have a look, we can move the we can move the foot back so that it's really flat. And he's going to give Spike a, a, a lift up. Isn't it cool that we can do this kind of thing? These guys all scaled correctly. This is great fun. All right. So I need to transform him. Oh. I don't know, every time I think I'm getting a handle on these modern transformers, something happens to trip me up. So I'm finding like four or five transformations 
I tend to be just about in the right place where I can do it without the instructions. And then there's the inst there's what the instructions tells you to do, and there's what feels right to you to do. And they're not always the same thing. I don't know if you guys find that. Like that. Goodbye, Dino Head. All right, and it's always the feet with this guy for some reason. The feet seem very fiddly. The whole, you know, leg transformation thing because there's some aligning to do and stuff. First thing we have to do is splay his legs out like he's being tortured. Poor guy. And then down the side like that. <laughs> Look at that. That's crazy. Uh, and then turn them over and it's really it's, it's these two legs here these two legs here what other legs would it be and they have to be at a certain angle when they go in you know it's almost like he's kneeling into his own legs otherwise the um, the tail doesn't fit together properly so put those up like that and that's how I can tell that I've done the uh, done the legs correctly that the tail actually fits together so there we go uh, this way round let's turn you round Mr Sludge and then this is a very cool part I think RC does this but I've not had many transformers there where the whole chest piece clips moves forward like that I think that's awesome and then twists around and that actually forms the back of the dinosaur oh, mate, yeah, that's, I think it's amazing some of these the engineering of some of these things I probably sound incredibly naive to people who've been buying transformers for years but it's all like wow somebody figured this out how to transform all this stuff. Ah, oh, that's annoying. I hit the camera. Get this out of the way, the back end. Like that. And then feet down. And just gradually, like, The rigidity of the, you know, the the dyno mode, mode emerges as everything sort of starts to fit together. I found that with um, Slug as well. It's like not suddenly, but as you move everything into place, this is a little bit uh, fiddly here. Oops. Let's see where you put the pressure oh, and it's put it in for me but yeah those can easily pop out the uh, the head can easily pop out of position it seems like your wings form the dino's body and then it's starting to get nice and solid and then the final bit here which i haven't quite been able to figure out uh, because there are two bits that need to fit over each other there those little pegs there that like that and then these pegs at the side which kind of I haven't been able to find a way to do it without pulling plastic apart which I don't really like to do it seems counterintuitive that you would have to literally kind of move the move the plastic apart and then everything is theoretically in position and doesn't it look good it's a shame about the seam running up the entire body there i don't think i've mistransformed him i think it's just pressure to put him together but even then you still get the seam running down the middle 
Yeah, but he looks really good. I think they do a particularly good face. I mean, it's difficult not to because it's not part of the Transformer. It's a separate part, but at least that means it looks really accurate to the cartoon. And I like the gold as well. Although they don't do the vac metalized anymore, which was a big like selling point with Dinobots for me back in the day. I, I, I like this as a compromise. And actually, if we're going for cartoon accuracy, then it's not shining gold in the cartoon it's just basically very bright yellow so slightly shiny yellow so i'm fine with that you can have some decent articulation with him in this mode as well you know, put him up on his hind legs because of the nobody mess with sludge it's great doesn't that look I think so anyway. I was saying, yeah, he's a lot bigger than the other two Dinobots, Slug and Grimlock, but I, I don't think so. I think, I mean, he's obviously longer, but he's not taller. Slug looks chunkier. He almost looks, looks like a long sort of Komodo dragon style character. Can't quite get his legs around the uh, neck. So yeah, another studio series. 826 that I'm really happy with. I think the only criticisms I would have were those wobbly knees, which are well documented people, and I agree. That's an issue. And he's not quite as tall as I thought in dino mode. I would like him to be a bit bigger rather than long, but they're nitpicks, they're nitpicks. Yeah, I'm hoping to ultimately have this entire line documented. I've put everything into a playlist for people. If you want to just look at all of my reviews and unboxings of Studio Series 826. So check out that playlist. I will put a link here and hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I've been Napyat and I'll see you next time.